Authorities in Hong Kong say they will ban seafood imports from 10 prefectures in Japan. The move will come into effect if a plant to discharge treated radioactive water from the Fukushima plant goes ahead. The Japanese plan facing opposition both at home and abroad despite the UN's nuclear watchdog approving it. For more on this story, here's Yena Li reporting from Beijing. When you speak with workers at the seafood market behind me, it seems like no one imports Japanese products, or very little of it. The workers at the rare stores with Japanese products on display refused to speak to us. The dozens of people who did, though, weren't catered towards Japanese restaurants per se, and almost all of them were against Tokyo's plans. I am strongly against it. Strongly, strongly against it. Releasing the water will surely affect our planet. It could affect our descendants. And of course we are worried about the seafood industry. The Japanese lack a conscience. The nuclear sewage pollutes all of the surrounding countries. This especially impacts people like us who sell sea products, and also everyone who enjoys eating seafood. Off camera, people had more nuanced views, though, where some people pointed out that Japan has a history of high hygiene standards. Others said that if a client wanted to buy a Japanese fish, that he would uh, find a way to provide him with it. Despite existing import restrictions, China was Japan's biggest seafood buyer last year. And overall, though, the businesses here remain concerned about the direct and the indirect impact on their industries. For example, the reputational damage on all seafood products, regardless of their provenance.